So yes, people, we're back again. It's the UK Rap Podcast Show. Host Man Like DJ Cage alongside co-host uh, DJ Diamond, a.k.a. DK. Yeah, we're in the building. we in the building. we back again for episode... Number nine. Number nine. So, you know, the season two is um, soon coming to an end. All right? Mm-hmm. Soon mm. wrap it up. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I want to give a big shout out to the sponsors as usual. Shout out going out to Sweet Cheesecake. Shout out going out to Kerry's Kitchen. King Solomon's... T- was it King Solomon's Tomb? Yeah, King yeah. Solomon's Tomb. And, um, Candy, Candy Cravers. Cravers. Big yeah, them yeah, up yeah, as yeah, well, yeah? yeah? So people make sure you get at them on the socials, yeah? Facebook and Instagram. And remember to just, um, subscribe to um, the UK Rock Podcast Show on YouTube and Spotify and them things there. So yes, people. Um, Yes, um, DK. Had a good weekend anyway? Yeah, man, it's been all right. It's still a quiet one. Well, it's been all right. It's been all right, yeah. It's been all right week. It's been all right week. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's been all right week. A bit of madness on that. Obviously, f- when, um, been watching the news and that. Oh yeah, do you know what? Yeah, I forgot about yeah, what yeah, yeah. Over, over, so. Yeah, bare madness and that. But um, Not over there. Yeah, proper proper madness. Like yeah, if people you have to just yeah just um check it out. Serious things what's going on in the world right now still. So I've been kind of in tune with that. Um, any movies in that? You been watching anything new? I watched one time um, still with Liam Neeson in it. Can't remember what that's called, but the film's kind of bad still. He's like the brother out of um, Taken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. Too, okay. Kind of bad still. I watched um, that Saturday. Is that Michael Ward? Which one's that one? Some Tom Clancy film. Okay. Yeah, some, ser- some serious out. shooter film. Bad man yeah. thing. Like real life God thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on that website. What, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. We're not letting off the website, <laughs> people. We've got a certy website. Yeah, shout out to Duggery. On that linky there. So, yes, got someone in the middle, as per usual. Always got the guest them in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Special guest. Got special guests in the building. Yeah. Bodybuilder. Yeah. Changing people's lifestyle. Yeah. Them things there. Online coach. Yeah. Representing the Southwest Gloucester. Yeah. We got man like Shannon Davis in the building. <laughs> Yeah, Ski. What's going on, people? Yes, yes. Just come talk up into the mic there. What's yeah. What's going on, people? Yes, yes, yes. So, so people, this going? show is called Therapy. Yeah. Usually, as you know, we interview um artists and that, but our things are um, very versatile. Yeah. So this show is called Therapy, and it's only right we got um we bring in um Shannon Davis, bodybuilder. So people, you know where this is gonna go. So yes, Shannon, um, welcome to the show. Um. Nice that you're hearing that. You get me? Um, first time to the show and that. First nice time probably nice doing a nice podcast interview, interview yeah. as well, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, one of them not, one, one of them ones. I usually do, but I thought, you know, why not? Yeah, Something different, innit? Something different. So, yeah, Shannon, um, obviously um, me and DK, we both know you differently and that. But um, tell the people them about you. First of all, tell them um, where you come from. And, um, yeah, like... Um, What's your bio? Just give them your bio. Like, yeah, Shannon Davis. Yeah, so obviously I'm Shannon Davis. Um, grew up in Gloucester. Been here pretty much all my life. Um, yeah, I, when I was younger, we were a troublemaker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Used to get into a lot of trouble. Uh, found gym. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, everything everything kind of changed, bro, you know? Mm-hmm. So just on this positive vibe now. Trying to move forward, trying to help people. Um, just trying to go as far as I can in my business, in my bodybuilding. Mm, yeah, just go yeah, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see the hard work and the, and and the graph. So, um, like I said, the show's called Therapy. Um, really told DK about it, and I told you the show's called Therapy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so the show's called Therapy. So we're gonna um just talk about the whole the whole gym thing first, and um, can you just tell um tell us um your your um gym journey? What made you got in? Um, what made you get into gym? Um. Do you know what? Uh, when I was younger, I used to just play like a lot of computer games and eat, eat like loads of sweets and crisps. And I was kind of like the chubby one when mm-hmm. I was a kid, yeah? Um, woke up one day, kind of looked in the mirror and thought, oh shit, actually you are kind of chubby. I started doing some press-ups. My cousin said to me, oh, you might as well join the gym. Mm-hmm. Joined the gym, went with some of the older man. Um, they kind of helped me, pushed me through. Um, and I've never stopped, but I've been, I think I started when I was about I was 16, on and off. Um, then I joined the gym when I was old enough. Uh, yeah, and I'm, what, 10, 11, 12 years later, still going. 12 years deep in it, and that's mad as well, <laughs> because obviously, like you said, um, uh, 
he was eating sweets and that being a chubby kid and that and um your cousins and that was told yeah go gym and that so you didn't go to gym for the gallem or nothing like that went for the gallem no man have to drink them juice you know the <laughs> body build a life nah, um, but yeah so you didn't like um I say like oh yeah i'm going gym for the it's for the gallem Weren't that nah? <laughs> nah, originally nah, but nah, it, I see it there. All right, nah, that's cool. It was, it, was, cool. Yeah, it was just mainly because I was kind of chubby, um, mm-hmm. and then when I started like, I started training with older people who who were already quite big, yeah, quite strong. So I kind of saw results quite quickly, even though you know I, I wasn't like shredded like I am these days. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't like lean, but it was all the I early was, process. I was big, you know, yeah, I yeah, was, yeah. Because I was kind of chubby to start with anyway. I used to just lift heavy weight. Them older man used to force me. Yeah, come on, you can do this weight, little man. Come on, and they just pushed me through. Um, and then, yeah, like literally, I, I've been doing that for I don't know, probably ten years. Now, nah, probably I was probably about nine years, eight, eight, nine years. I just normal training, eating what I want, mm. going to going to. High street getting some curry goat mm. or after after mm. training or Nando's getting that whole chicken platter and that with the man them um, and just not really not really thinking about like the way I am today. Yeah, you know, yeah. like uh, it was mainly just I like to go to gym, I like to train, I like to eat. The thing is, when you when you were chubby and you eat a lot, you can eat more when you go to gym. Mm. So if you like to eat, <laughs> go to gym. You okay. know, what I'm saying? You can eat more food. Um, yeah. So like to gym back then, like to party, party a bit, mix in with a bit of partying <laughs> yeah. as well. Yeah, I used to go out, Yo, I used come to on. When I was younger, I used to go out all the time. Mm. Like so that's what I mean. It wasn't, it wasn't serious. Like, like it is now. I just enjoyed training. Yeah, um, I used to go out probably two, three times a week mm. from nineteen drinking, 20, just enjoying yourself, isn't it? Probably, Young age back then, probably till about twenty five. Um, okay, because what? <coughs> how old you now? Uh, Thirty one. Thirty one. So, yeah. hold on. So what? You say what? You've been twelve years deep in the gym thing. Like so you're starting off from early, innit? Yeah, mm. more time. Like I was probably serious from eighteen, nineteen. You know, I started training when I was about sixteen, seventeen. But it was just like an on and off thing. Um, but like seriously, in the gym, day in and day out, from probably about eighteen, nineteen. Yeah, brother. Yeah, man. So um, twelve years deep in the um the gym thing and that. How do you think um um gym is now like the way our gyms portrayed now like um like back then nobody wasn't really on the gym f- wait there like back then nobody wasn't really on the gym thing like 12 years ago not like how it is now where because of i feel say like you know like social media it's all thrown in your face you've got just like celebrities influencers just you know every tom dick and harry megan and susan on the instagrams um flexing and you know some people um, get drawn into that oh i need to look like this or i need to look like that where back then you didn't have social media. I think back then it was more magazines, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. a mag- it was flex magazines. Yeah. It was like magazines yeah. and that. We used to see the bodybuilders and the magazines and that. And I don't think really that was a popular thing back then anyway. So um um the whole gym thing back then, but now do you think like well, I don't even think I've even bought a flex magazine. I used to see them. <laughs> But I don't think like I never one. I wasn't into it like that. Like even now, like it's only like recently mm. I've actually even been watching like actual bodybuilders. You're like day to day, like because that's what I want to do now. Do you know what I'm saying? But back then I wasn't really something I was thinking about. I was just going to gym. I just yeah. wanted to look good, you know. Um, but yeah, I think everybody these days, it's, it's a lot of people get dragged into like you see the celebrities looking a certain way, and they're saying, yeah, I went to the gym. And I did this for this amount of weeks, or I drank this this amount of juice plus, or this or that. And it's everybody's looking for the magic pill, you know. Everybody, magic pill, the to- magic pill, <laughs> the quick turnaround. Yeah, that's um, what everyone's looking for. That's what they want. The, the quick they want, turnaround. Everyone wants results yesterday. Um, the man them want the quick six pack, eight pack, um, chest out. The girl them want to take the quick magic pill for the the bumper. The, the you know what I'm saying the slim waist, whatever waist, and yeah, the cut, whatever. Yeah, the magic pill. I like that one. <laughs> the thing is, that's that's what I mean. But there is no magic pill, you know. It's hard work. You know? mm. it's, it's day in. There's and no day magic out, pill, like. people. So you can't Google it or, and, and go on Amazon and them thing there, yeah. Uh, yeah, but I think people are just seeing like what what people think looks good, or they think they, they see these influencers that look good. And it's like, oh, if I look like that, I can make this much money, or I can do this, or I can show off my body, or make it only fans. Or I don't even know. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, all yeah, mad yeah, now. Yeah, it's all mad. Um, nobody's like there's there's only few people that are actually doing it for like the passion of 
actually training. And yeah, and don't respect. Don't yeah, and respect to those people what do it for the passion. I don't, don't get me wrong. Definitely, there's, there's people out there that you know are oh, they've been big and they just want to lose weight. And I've seen some you know big people in the gym, and I fair play to them. Like, boy, I see them in there every day, and then one minute they're like this, and the next minute it's like. Bang, and it's in, and it's like I've seen that person in there day in and day out. But that's what people don't see. They don't see the, what happens in the background. They just see what people what they see on Instagram. They mm. don't know what it actually takes. To and shout out to the passionate you know? people, yeah, because that's the therapy. The gym is therapy. Because before we even um was um recording in that, and we decided our little one little talks in that. My mom was saying about gyms is therapy. So explain to the people them about why is gym your therapy. Well, like, there's, I've had a lot of things happen in life, you know. Um, I've had some ups, I've had some downs, I've had some losses, I've had people die, and I've, you know, I, I probably should have, you know, some people would say some of the things that have happened in life, you know, you could have maybe gone through a stint of depression or whatever. But I just find that gym is something that just keeps me, keeps me going. It keeps me happy every day. I wake up, I think, right, boom, I'm gonna do this today and I'm going to do that today. And I've always got some sort of plan and it's just like part of my daily routine, you know? Mm -hmm. And it just keeps me, it just keeps me focused, you know? Like once you've got a discipline and you, you can stick to a diet or you can stick to a training routine, it helps in everything in life. You'll sit down and you'll, once you've written yourself a diet plan or you've written yourself a training program, the next time you might sit down and say to yourself, all right, today I'm going to write five goals and I'm going to do this. And I'm gonna make sure by the end of the day I do all these five things. Yeah, yeah. So you, you just you start putting structure into your life. And it's it's not just in gym, it's anything, you know, like we speaking to some of the music guys before, um, and it's the same with them, you know, they they're doing their engineering on their on their tracks or they they're writing their lyrics down, but it's a it's an everyday thing. It's mm. it's, it's not something that you can do for five minutes. And then come back to in five months, you know. That's right. If you want to progress, you want to get better, you want to, you know, reach your goal. It's, you just got to keep going. Got to keep going, going you know, and be passionate about it. I was saying to someone the other day in the gym, like he said to me, like, how, how did you get like that? I said, you know, the, you know, the best thing for you to do every day, just turn up. If you just turn up every day, that's half the battle. Mm, that's true. You know what I'm saying? If you just turn up to the gym every day, of half the battle. Even if you only do half a workout, you've done something. It's better than nothing, isn't it? True things. Simple as that. Mm, that's true. So like um, so like um, yeah. So that's like so yeah. So gym is your therapy. So you um doing the whole bodybuilding thing and that. Has it been like challenging, like mentally? Like, has it took tolls on you? Like um, have you had your ups? Obviously, you have your ups. Everyone has their ups, but have you had your downs as well? Is it like you get what I'm saying? Um yeah, like with with like bodybuilding, with like competing and, and that. Uh, Usually you're doing what, 16, 20, you're doing a minimum of about 14 week diets. Um, and then sometimes like throughout this last lockdown, so that was probably the hardest one, uh, shows have been postponed. Mm. So, I mean, my diet started as a 16 week diet so with the show being at the end of 16 weeks. Um, at the end of 16 weeks, it got pushed back five weeks. Um, at the end of that five weeks, it got pushed back another, say, five weeks. By the time I did my first show, we're looking at like a 25, 26 week diet. Okay. So Serious and that's from, from a house, you know. Mm, yeah, and that's yeah, cardio yeah, every yeah, day, yeah, that's yeah, training yeah. every day, that's like dieting consistently, no sugar. Like it, mentally it is tough, you know. And that, that, that one was the hardest one because mm. as soon as you think, yeah, there's the end result, it just got pushed back. And then you think, yeah, I'm, I'm nearly there. And then yeah, it just got yeah, pushed yeah, back yeah, again. Yeah. And eventually you did it, but it was like that one, <laughs> that one was tough. I'm not gonna lie, mentally that was probably the hardest one I've ever done. Um, but it's it's more just because you know that you can have that, and it will make you feel that little bit better. But you can't have that. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? yeah, I hear that. You can't have that. Like, but if you was to eat that right now, that little sugar rush would probably make you feel nice for for ten minutes. Mm. But you can't have that. So and it's just a, it's just. So a you said how many weeks about no sugar and emptying that? I mean, the last one I did was like. <coughs> 26 weeks um, Then I did a show Then I did another one Two weeks there So it was like 28 weeks altogether uh, So that's probably The longest actual prep I've ever done Bruh um, and That was Yeah That was tough Bruh so like, How did you get into Like all the competitions And all of that Do you know what I was telling him About it a minute ago I, I don't I'll never forget it It's, it's, a, it's quite a vivid memory So Obviously I started the gym um, I, And I moved to this, To Pure Gym uh, When it first opened And there's a guy from Gloucester uh, He's a chiropractor I don't know if anyone knows him Ed Ballinger, the fixer. Okay. So he just added me on Instagram. Saw him in the gym. 
He actually found me on Instagram, he added me, and he just kept messaging me, you need to compete. And I'm like, I don't even know, I didn't even know him at this yeah. time. But like every time I saw him, he'd be like, mate, you look great. Like, and he was just, he just gassed me up for no reason. Like, I've never met this guy in my, in my life. And he just, <laughs> every day I see him, he would just gas me up. And uh, he, he just said to me, you need to do a show, you need to do a show. And one day I thought to myself, yeah, hey, maybe I should. So I looked into it, and then I saw another guy in the gym, Damien, um, who was my first coach. And I just saw him and I just knew he was a bodybuilder. Because he, he just looked massive. He, was, he had like a Siamex top on. I knew he was like sponsored. Yeah. So I spoke to him. Um, and he said, yeah, I'll coach you. So he literally next day, went on the internet, booked a show. It was like 15 weeks from that date. And that was it. Just, so it was just easy like that. I just, just jumped just in like that. Just... It, paid him as a coach and just trained. Did everything I was told to do. Well, I don't even like fish. I ate mackerel every day for six months. I ate white fish every day for yeah. six months. I like, I'll eat it now, but I hated it back you then. You say he's never a fisherman, but nah. I ate it just because he said, you got to eat this, eat this and you'll look good. So I did it, you know? Um, I don't, <laughs> it's mad because I don't eat, I don't eat that now. And I, <laughs> and I look better than my first show. Okay. Um, so you don't actually need to eat fish, it, but it is, it's, it is a good. You have to eat fish, it's people. A, it's, I'm, a, it's a good I'm meat. telling it's you lot to eat fish, <laughs> it's yeah? A good meat, but you don't have All to right. eat fish and rice cakes to mm. look good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not a fish and a rice cake, mm. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that yeah, vibe, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, you, you can kind of get in good shape eating anything. But, yeah, um, I went to him, booked the show, and that was it. I did a show, and then I think I, I just, all I wanted to do was do a show. This, this, this. So, I booked into it, I did it. I think I well, I think out of like fifteen people, I placed like tenth. Like I didn't even do good, but like on that day, I'm looking around, I'm looking at the guys that won, and I'm thinking, "Wow, I need a medal." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I thought, "Boy, I need a medal." Um, and I went home, spoke to my coach, I said, "I need to do another one." There's another one in three months. He's like, "No, no, no." Too I, said, soon. I said, "Yes, yes, yes." I just booked it the next day. Yeah, on it. And went again for three months, and then I went back and came second and got my medal, and I was like, "Yeah, I got my my little pro card from Miami Pro." And, yeah, that's it. I'd never, never look back, bro. Now I'm, what, 10, 10 shows deep? Yeah. i got, what, 10 right. shows? I think i got, what, eight, eight trophies? Yeah, that's, that's it. it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 not that's, big still. that's nice as well. Mums, you're proud and that. Wins, good, you know what I'm saying? Good, yeah. good, Family's good, proud. Good top three, top yeah, five in the nice. UK. No, in the so, UK, yeah, yeah. That's, that's big, you know? Mm, that's sick. Mm. Yeah, so I've done some good shows. That's sick. Some of the biggest shows in the UK. Placed second, fourth, yeah, some of that, so. You really take it international now? Uh, get to yeah, the world. yeah, yeah. To be honest, I'm looking at um, I'm looking at doing another one pretty soon actually, uh, either first of August for the British finals or because I've qualified now. I did I did um I did one about three weeks ago and that qualified me for any pro qualifier for for the rest of the year. So I've got a year to try and qualify as and go pro. So okay. I can keep getting I can keep shooting that yeah. the pro card for the next year until I have to qualify again if I don't get it. Um, but I'm aiming I'm aiming to get it hopefully this year. So it's, just, it's tough. It's, it's a fucking yeah, you'll get big there. industry. So why am I nah, it's, can, a big whatever, industry. Man. it's a big industry and it's, uh, it's political, you know? Sometimes mm. you, can, you, you might feel like you're the best. Other people might say you look the best and you might not win. So that, that's a bit of a kick in the teeth. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. And, and that's like a next like mental fuck as well because um, everyone's on the same mission. When you're going on stage, I want to be number one. I want to I be number one. And then it must... Yeah, nobody wants to be second anymore. Yeah, no one don't want to be second. No one don't want to be third. No one want to be fourth. Number, but like, you know? um, it must hurt sometimes, don't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Like when you feel like you should be like, like I had a show not long ago, and I, I genuinely thought, and even people told me but that were in the crowd, bro. In my opinion, you won that like straight up, hands down. You know, there's pictures people have seen that they say, bro. But I didn't. I didn't win it. The judges didn't. They say, yo, we're not giving it to you. And it's like. Here we go, I have to what? go back again. Like, I've literally just grafted for months and yeah. months and months and months and months. And I've been beaten by someone I don't feel should be beating me, but it is what it is. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I keep going. You have to keep well, going. Keep going. But like listen, you know you might not always get the result that you want in it. You know, you might go for an interview, you might not get that job, but just gotta keep going. Do you know what it is? What did I what did I hear sometimes? Someone told me N O. When you, when someone tells you no, N O, that just means next opportunity. Mm, mm, yeah. Mm. Wasn't your, it wasn't the right time. Mm. Next opportunity. You know, go for another one. Mm -hmm. Right time, right place and that. You know? Yeah. Yeah, man. Definitely. So you see, like, so tell the people them a bit about um obviously man see you um active on the thing, on the gram and that, you're doing your thing and that, man respect it and that. Obviously, I'm not a, I'm not a bodybuilder, I'm not a bodybuilding um a fan and that, you know what I'm saying? But man, respect your thing. So it's like that. 
yeah? Yeah, yeah. Right, real thing. Um, tell the people them a bit about um, you doing this online coaching. That because I see you very busy. I see your stories. Them are qu- like that. Yeah, like they're doing a lot. You're doing it not just um, Gloucester based. You're doing it kind of like UK based, isn't it? Really, like males and females. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Transformations you're doing. So I've I've seen the pictures where. You know what I'm saying? You're telling people to take their picture how they're looking now and then when they do their little whatever course, whatever with you, then you show them the results picture. And yeah, I've seen, I've seen quite a lot. Like I said, male and female. Yeah, you're, you're doing your thing. So tell the people them like, what's watching? I might think, um, how can I holler you and how can I get into them things there? Like, tell them. Um, so so yeah, like originally I was like, I qualified as a PT. I was a personal trainer in, in gyms. I didn't really enjoy it. Um, so... I kind of took on my own, I took on a coach, started competing, um, learned a lot from my coach, watched a lot of YouTube channels, read a lot of read a lot of books and things, kind of like upskill my knowledge. Um, mm-hmm. I've always kind of wanted to do what my coach does. So my coach lives in Dubai, yeah? Um, works on a laptop, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't go to work. You know what I'm saying? And he's living a very, very good lifestyle. So I thought to myself, I want a piece of that, you know? I want a piece of that pie. Um, so, I, you know, I quit, quit working and just, invested my time into online coaching uh so i do like transformation challenges every so often i do like it's kind of a promotional thing just to kind of help people uh, that might not be able to afford a coach mm-hmm. um you know for, for monthly because it can be quite expensive uh so it's, it's more of an affordable way of getting in shape uh, you know i run it every maybe 10 to 12 weeks now um as a promotion and you know just get trying to get people into shape so so yeah, uh, anyone, and I'll take on pretty much anyone, uh, as long as you know they're willing to work work hard. Uh, if you're going to come to me, you're not on no joker smokers too. Well, it doesn't make sense because you, I, make I, sense. I, I'm not really out here to just take people's money. You know, I, I want to help people. You know, I want to get results. So I want people that want to actually like change. Like I've had people come to me and they're overweight, and after like a while, they're like, "My knees are better. My back doesn't hurt anymore. Like running around with my kids is easier." Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So. Real talk, that alone, that, real that's, talk. That's, that's, that's nice, you know. That, that's free up yourself, that, people. Like, money comes with it, and if you're good at what you do, you're gonna you're gonna get you're gonna you're gonna get somewhere eventually. So it's not about taking people's money, really. It's about working with people that want to work with you. So if you're gonna come to me. I have had people come to me, start checking two two three times, and then just disappear. You don't hear from them again, you know. I don't want people to come to me if that's what they're doing, you know. Like I want to help people, and I will get people. To the best that they will ever be, if they work hard. Okay. So that, but they need, they need to. You need to want it in it. If you want to do something, you want to make changes. You need to want it in it. Definitely. So, what is that? The program in town is it like? Is it hard for them? Or because like you said, some of them don't make it through. Like, is it nah, too nah, hard it's, for them? It, it, I mean, it's, it's all based on individual people. So, like, if someone says to me, you know, this is what I want to, I want to lose weight. Um, like it, some people want to compete. I've got people with me that want to do shows. Yeah, okay, and, okay. And their their training plan is going to be a lot more intense. It's going to be a lot harder. Their diet's going to be a lot harder. Um, but like normal people, like lifestyle people, yeah. they come to me and like it's, it's just based around what they're already doing. You know, so when they come to me, I get them to fill out my, their, their online form, and it'll basically say like, what are you, what do you eat? What do you like? You know, I'm obviously I'm not going to give you crisps and chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. if you say to me, you know, I like bagels, or like, I like to eat. Cocoa Pops in the afternoon or I will try and base the diet around things that you eat because at the end of the day there's not really any good or bad food there's better foods and there's worse foods obviously you can't say that anything's good or bad you can pretty much get into shape eating whatever you want as long as it fits within what your body needs yeah, so it's yeah, all about yeah, working yeah. out like it's, it's called a macro count yeah so it's all about working out your what your body actually needs to get to the goal that you want okay. if you're trying to gain weight you're going to need to eat more food if you're trying to lose weight Eat less, yeah. eat less food um, and if you're just trying to stay roughly the same but just tone up a bit you need to kind of eat around what you need and to do a bit of cardio okay. it's simple as that it's, it's, it's kind of easy um, but it's, it's mathematical if you do what you're supposed to do it works yeah that's that. the results you know yeah, tell that. the people then what's it called again micro what go on oh macros macros <laughs> Macronutri- macronutrients so it's, google it's, that it's just carbohydrates google that and fats so when people think our oh, carbs are bad, carbs are bad, carbs aren't bad, fats aren't bad, protein isn't bad. If if a woman goes to gym and does weights, she's not gonna turn into a muscly person <laughs> unless she wants to be muscly. You have to eat enough food to get to that level. You need to eat more protein. You know, you need to eat more carbs, more fats. 
Like as long as you're eating what you're supposed to be eating, training. Like if you just if a girl just and this is what a lot of girls they struggle with. Like they got they come to me. I really want to lose weight. I want to get skinny. So all they will do is just go to the gym and do loads of cardio. Yeah, if you want to slim up and you want you want a bigger bum and you want bigger legs and you want this and we want that, you need to pick up some weights. Pick up the weight, damn. If you push, if you just go and do cardio, stop eat, stop eat lettuce and 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 drink water and do all these twenty k. You end up stick thin. You end up stick thin. It's it's nice. Like it's not. It's not not even a choke though. Like it's 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 it's, it's, uh, Uneducated people, you know. Mm, now, nah, real like, talk, real you know, talk. If you wanna, if you wanna look a certain way, weights, weights aren't gonna make you into a muscly person. You know, mm. it's, it's, it's you're only gonna be muscly if you want to be muscly. Yeah, definitely. You know? and you're training that. to be muscly, lifting heavy weights, eating loads of food. If you just want to tone it up, going to the gym and lifting a bit of weights and doing squats, it's not gonna, it's not gonna kill you. Mm, that's the truth, yeah. You know? Yeah, it's hundred percent. That's the truth. Like, if you go bro. in and just no do, magic pill. Just go in and do cardio and eat. And do your twelve hundred calorie count. Like girls come to me and they're like, I've been counting my calories. I've been doing 1,200 calories. That's too low. If you're going to gym and you're doing stupid amounts of cardio and you're eating twelve hundred calories, it's too low. I put girls on more food and they're like, I've never eaten this much food in my life. Right. But they got more food, more energy, so they can do their training. Uh, and you, you set out what they're doing. You structure their plan. You structure their diet. You structure their cardio. As long as they complete it. They're gonna get better, right? And this is all, and they're not gonna starve, and, and they're gonna eat foods that they actually enjoy. What well, and this in the balance thing, really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And what so? It. So everything what you just said then is all in your plan as well. So when, if people's gonna holler at you after this and be like, "Yeah, I need this," yeah, I mean, if someone comes to me, like they're gonna tell me what their goal is. Yeah, if you want to lose weight, I'm gonna make you lose weight. You got if that. you want to gain, you know, stay. If you want to tone up, I'm gonna make you tone up. If you want to gain weight, I'm gonna make you to- gain weight. But it's going to be, I'm going to set out your food exactly for that goal. Okay. I'm going to give you a training plan for the areas you want to build. You know, there's no point in you saying to me, I want legs, bums, and 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 and, you know, <laughs> and, and, and a nice... Fat, that's, fat yeah, that's... And I that, tell you to go and do chest and all. Yeah, that's the magic pill. pill. That's you know, the magic pill. That's the magic pill. You know, it's, so it's, 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 you know, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be based around the person, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, I mean, obviously, cool. if, you, if you look at, like, some of the results I've had with people, if they, if you do what, what, what I tell you to do, you're going to get results. You get you know? results without no magic yeah. pill. Trust me, but you, nah, but yeah, Shannon, tell them as well, though. Um, run them, um, your your socials and all those things as well for the people. Them, um, so do you know what? I don't, I, I don't, I mean, I'm Shannon Davis on Facebook, I don't really use Facebook that much, I only really use Instagram at the minute. Um, I, I probably should start using a few more. I'm gonna start um, a YouTube soon, yeah. I was um, just gonna say, what, no YouTube yeah, account you know in what, the world you know lately, mainly from before, it's because like I've always trained on my own, I find it quite hard to like. Because I just want to go and get my training done. I've got, I've trained for like two, three hours a day, taking a camera in, setting this up, setting that up. It's never really been. It, it hasn't really made sense, you know. But it's something that needs to be done from now. Really, start, I, need, I need to start tracking it for shows and and future and you know, yeah, hundred percent things. Hundred so. percent. Um, but Instagram Shannon Davis underscore. Follow that. Uh, that's what I use mainly. That's what I do. What I get most do most of my clients on. Um, and yeah, that's the place for them to um, hit you up in it. Yeah, yeah, people. So um, that's a good little intake, you know, because I know a lot of people in this day and age struggle. Um, obviously, COVID lockdown as well. So I can imagine you must have been kind of busy for that lockdown as well, trying to help people because that was the hard thing. Like the first lockdown was just a bit of a like a myth. Nobody wasn't on nothing. Everybody <laughs> I wasn't even on that. See it there? <laughs> yeah, he wasn't on nothing, people. Everybody was the was same a, I was, I was, boat. People need to man. stop showboating. <laughs> I'm playing Warzone with you on that. I'm, I'm Warzone. Come on, Verdant. <laughs> no, listen. Them come on, listen. Listen, <laughs> listen. I'm telling you, everybody people. Does it, we you know, was all, listen, we was all on the same boat first lockdown. No one can't tell me nothing. People showboating, it's loud to showboat. It was all on the same boat. Second lockdown come, I think people was like, ah, oh, we can ride this one. So, when did you start taking it serious? What, second or the third lockdown? Do you know what? I was I was working for the first lockdown. I actually had a job. I was running like three sites, um, a, a distribution company. Yeah, and, and I was working there all the way through the first lockdown, like doing ridiculous amounts of hours and doing my online coaching like on, on the side. But it was more of like a sideline thing mm. and then the company was just taking the piss out of me you know like 
I tried to get my mum's birthday off, which was the time me, I couldn't get it off. I said, you know what? I just left. I said, you know what? Fuck this. My coaching's doing all right. I've had enough. And I just pushed coaching. And through lockdown, I just helped a few people. And word of mouth, it spread like wildfire. Yeah, yeah. A few, um, I did an a online coaching, like a uh, mentoring course with uh, Jason, Team LRF. Um, taught me quite a few things. And yeah, just, just gone from strength to strength. Yeah, sick. Yeah, sick, 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 sick. Like I said, people, this is the bodybuilder man right now. He's representing Gloucester, Southwest. Um, you had something last week in it as well, didn't it? Uh, yeah, so I did. I did a competition uh, just 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 over a week ago. Are you and mad? Won, and won two weeks before that. So I did a regional qualifier mm-hmm. um, about three three and a half weeks ago, and that, that qualified me for the pro qualifier. Right, so right. I placed second in the regional regional qualifier. And then the pro qualifier, I didn't, I didn't look as, as sharp as I should have on that day. I come in fourth. I actually got beat by the guy that I beat the week, the two weeks before, which is really <laughs> annoying. Um, and that's the sort of thing that you get, you know. Um, you can look amazing all the way through your prep. And on show day, you might not drop the water because, I don't know, just something goes wrong. Um, and that one day where, where you needed it to go right, it doesn't. And it, it just goes to, goes to shit. And yeah. It's annoying, but... Keep going. Yeah. So even before, obviously, the timing and that, we're going to be ending the show soon. But before we end the show and that, um, I want to ask you as well. Um, people might want to know, I want to know, other than Jim, what do you get up to then, um, Jim? Like, do you, like, tell the people then, um, are you a Netflix man? Are you a movie? You know what I'm saying? Are you, are you a books man? Um, are you a gamer? Are you a, you know, do you sit down and watch sports? Because like I said, bodybuilding and all these things, it takes a, it takes up a lot of your time. Obviously, it must be a Monday to Sunday thing, AM to the PM. It's a mindset thing, mental thing as well. As much like we, like I said, you, you have your ups, you have your downs, um, you have your wins, you have your losses. You know what I'm saying? Um, but other than the bodybuilding thing, Monday to Sunday, AM to the PM, yam this, eat that. What do you do as well? Um, <laughs> you know what? Like, you know, are you a movies man? Yeah, yeah. But yeah? You know, I, I watch. I've pretty much watched everything on Netflix, um, Disney Plus. Okay, um, yeah, okay. Shout out to the uh, Disney I, Plus I, I crew. Then I moved on to Amazon. Uh, <laughs> the Prime. But do you know, do you know what it is? I used to play a lot of Xbox, but uh, um, I don't really have much time now. I'm doing a lot of Busy work man. in the evenings uh, on my on my laptop, um, trying to update like my website and things like that. Uh, so I, I spend a lot of time doing that at the minute, uh, or going out for food when I can. Uh, and other than that, yeah, just I read a few books. But you know, I, I watch, <laughs> I watch most of the, the most of the programs that I watch while I was doing cardio in my front room on my cross trainer. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so that's kind of how I, I watch. Okay. I watch YouTube videos, um, bodybuilders, uh, and you know, smart uh, podcasts and things that like they're gonna teach me how to be better, how to be a better coach, how to help me um, doing what I'm doing, uh, and, and to kind of motivate me to to push forward. So. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's all I'd really because do. Because of isn't course, it? man, because like um you must need your own time as well. Obviously, like I said, it's a challenging thing what you do. So there's a time and place when you just must be like, oh fucking hell. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying, G? Like there must be a time when you're like, come off this come off whatever you've done or you man, oh fucking hell. I gotta fucking eat this in the next fucking like, fucking forty five minutes. Yeah, I just wanna yeah. just fucking you know what I'm saying, DK. I just wanna just you know like, what I just, do? Just chill and yeah, just put my feet up and just, just build back or whatever. Just you know what I'm saying? Put my feet up and build a fat split. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's one thing I, not, not, they probably didn't mention, but yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. I, 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 I want a fat zoo and that's it. If I'm stressed. I have a go to the gym or a bona zoo and that's my therapy. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know I mean? No, I hear that. Or, or, or grade. No, I hear that. <laughs> I hear that. Therapy. I hear that. No, I hear that fully. You know I mean? But yeah, that's man, that's I thought you was a. Um, conclusion. Today, <laughs> you know what I mean? I thought, so, um, um, yeah, we got like, yeah, about a minute or so. We got about two minutes or something. Like music quickly, you're going to run off some music. Um, What music you into at the moment? What UK rapper, um, rap artist you feeling at the moment? Like, you um, know? Because I know you've been following the music thing for a minute anyway, you know, I, but yeah. What do you feel I, at the I moment? I feel quite a lot of people. Like, I, like, I like Fredo. Um, I like Meeks. Um, them, yeah, just, just them sort of UK. Yeah. Like, sort of UK drillers. Probably. Yeah. That's the sort of music. Anyone? Uh, anyone, yeah. I like him. He's good, man. Um, I, loads of people, bro. Like, e block Europe, M Huncho. Yeah, I like M Huncho. I yeah. like M Huncho a lot. Uh, I like Pot of Paper. Um, Ants is quite good as well. Um, yeah. Yeah. There's too many to be fair. So you're still. I, I even still like Bugsy Malone actually. He's, he's still good chip. 
Yeah. yeah no, All right. So you're still, still yeah. Still in tune. He's still in tune, DK. He's still he's still in tune. He's still in tune. He's still in tune. I thought he was gonna say some. Oh, I spend three hours in the gym every day. What do you think I listen <laughs> yeah, to? Yeah, yeah. Mm, that's true. Just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> keep updating that mm. playlist. So what's that then? You, you you work in Apple or Spotify? Oh, I use Apple. Oh, you're yeah, Apple, man. Apple, Apple man. But do you know it's only because I've had it for so long. Um, okay. I never really got into Spotify. I've already paid for it. I've already paid for Apple. So yeah, so you just there. There, it's a subscription, and it's so quick. Like, like a Shazam something. And it will just go add to gym playlist, bam, go straight in, done. It's just quick. Mm, quick yeah. things, quick things, quick things. Nah, I rate that, I rate that, I rate that. But yeah, man, it was blessed for you for passing through on the show, yeah, Shannon. Still, one. you get me? Hundred percent. Like I said, um, I didn't know what to expect at first, but yeah, it's been, I enjoyed it. Yeah, man. Yeah, sure. man. Yeah, man. This is this is this is the works. You know, this is the works. Yeah, we're in Caviar Studios. Yeah, that's yeah, a good look. You know I mean? This is our therapy. Yeah, <laughs> UK rap podcast show. The number one podcast show in the Southwest, yeah. We ain't yeah. lying. We ain't lying. When, when we're not lying. We're not lying. When things open up, we'll get that award. The uh, number one thing, man. Trust me. Shout out to the other podcast um, shows in the ends as well. Rate what you lot are doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So link up. We soon do some mad, some mad link up thing. I feel, don't worry. I know, yeah, we're going to do some mad link up thing. This one's over and out, man. Like Cage. Man like DK, a.k.a. DJ Diamond. Mm-hmm. Man like Shannon, a.k.a. The Bodybuilder. People, make sure you go and follow him on Instagram. Serious things, yeah? Change up your lifestyle, yeah? Shannon.Davis the- underscore. There you go, people. So if you're serious about the gym thing and you do not know where to go, holler him. Local. Nice. No, the ra- one thing I said to him the other day, she said to me, oh, when you're doing, doing a QA, and a I said, what for? She said, I need to ask you some questions. I said, listen... Question, advice is free, plans are chargeable. Okay. If you okay. want advice, it's free. You can message me anything. Okay, if see you want it a plan, then. that's when we start talking. Yeah, see it there, people. See it there, people. So, like I said, man, this one's a wrap. We'll be back again. You don't know the thing. Remember, YouTube, the UK Rap Podcast Show, Spotify, the same thing. And whatever, man, just holler us. And Oh, yeah, don't forget, people. Make sure you holler at um, DJ Diamond as well. We did put up a thing the other day. GCE TV is going to be back in the works, yeah? Some mad, 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 mad content is coming. So you local UK rap artists, Gloucester, Bristol, um, and all, all around the Southwest. Wherever, and that, wherever. Yeah? Right the holler southwest. at the man. But yeah, mainly Gloucester artists, holler at the man, yeah? DJ Diamond, yeah? All right. Peace. We're gone. One. Go on. Go on. Go on.